still get chills thinking about that night last summer on a long drive through Texas. Must have been close to midnight when my engine started making some weird rattling noises outside of Abilene. I pulled over on the shoulder and popped the hood, but it was too dark to see much of anything. That's when I noticed this gaunt figure ambling down the road in my rearview mirror. As the shape approached in the glare of my headlights, I could see it was a scraggly dude, dirty plaid shirt, and shaggy beard. Said his name was Frank and his truck had crapped out a few miles back. Part of me didn't feel right about picking him up, but he seemed harmless enough. I told him he could catch a ride into the next town over. Big mistake, let me tell ya. Soon as Frank squeezed into the passenger seat, I was overwhelmed by the pungent smell of tobacco and stale booze rolling off him. He barely made eye contact the whole ride, just mumbled nonsense under his breath, and stared straight ahead with hollow eyes. Kept fidgeting like he was tweaking too, made my skin crawl. About halfway to our exit, I noticed Frank was gazing out the back window real intently. That's when I saw the shapes too. Vague silhouettes flitting between the fields at the edge of my high beams, seeming to shadow our every move. I started driving faster, trying to shake the feeling we were being followed. Begged to any god listening to get Frank out of my car. Finally, his turn-off came, and I slammed on the brakes. That's when Frank slowly turned his haunting face toward me in the dark cab, flashed a rotten-toothed smile, and said, Thanks for the ride, buddy. Don't suppose you'd let me hang with you a while longer. As his grimy hand crept into his coat pocket, I threw the truck in gear and floored it, glanced back just once to see Frank shrinking away against the night, his outline now surrounded by at least a dozen of those soulless figures. Swore I'd never pick up another hitcher as long as I lived, but I should have known it wouldn't be that easy to escape whatever demons Frank led through the desert that night. A few nights later, driving the same route in the dead of night, my engine started rattling again. This time I wasn't stopping, but as I gaze in my rearview mirror at the gathering silhouettes loping after me along the highway, I saw one face I'd recognize anywhere, Frank, smiling that abyssal grin. From then on, no matter which roads I took or how fast I drove, that ghoulish pack was always trailing, just out of sight, only a matter of time before they catch up. Boys, mark my words, you never know what kind of nightmares might be lurking to hitch a ride in the darkness. It was getting late, and I was fighting sleep on some lonesome stretch of desert highway when my gas light came on. Pulled into the next fly-spec town I came across, but everywhere was closed up for the night. That's when I spotted a shadowy figure up ahead, just waiting in the glow of my headlights. Rolled down the window as the figure approached, scraggly beard, sunken eyes, overall sketchy vibe about the guy. Said his name was Frank, and his ride had broken down miles back. Figured what could it hurt giving the poor sucker a lift, you know? Bad idea, let me tell ya. Soon as he got in, I noticed the heavy smell of booze and sweat crawling off him. Tried making casual convo, but all Frank just mumbled nonsense. Barely looking my way, kept glancing over his shoulder all jittery-like, scaring me to be honest. That's when I started seeing shapes watching us from the roadside. That's when I started seeing shapes watching us from the roadside. Almost sighed in relief when his exit came up fast. Pulled over and he turned real slow, grinning with blackened teeth. Thanks for the ride, buddy. Hope you don't mind if I keep your company a while longer. Reached into his coat just as I slammed down the gas, leaving Frank and his rotten, smiling mug fading in the rear view. Never stopped for another stranger after that. I tell you what. Man, I still get chills thinking about that drive last summer out west. Me and some buddies were hauling ass across Nevada in the dead of night, blasting music and bullshitting like guys do. Must have been around 3 a.m. when I started nodding off at the wheel. That's when the gaslight came on. Pulled into the next tiny town we passed, but everything was closed up tight. Driving through the empty streets, that's when I spotted someone hitchhiking up ahead in the glow of my high beams. 
waved the guy down, and he shuffled over, scraggly beard, sunken eyes, gave me a seriously bad vibe. Said his name was Frank, and his ride broke down miles back. Figured what harm could one person do. Yeah, I know. Big mistake. Soon as he got in, rank smell of booze and bow just about made me gag. Tried making polite small talk, but Frank just mumbled nonsense, staring straight ahead with a cracked out grin. Kept glancing over his shoulder, all nervous like. Starting creeping me and the boys out too. That's when I noticed shapes emerging from alleyways as we drove by, following alongside the car. Gaunt faces peering in with hollow eyes before melting back into the darkness. Frank just smiled wider, like he was in on some private joke. After what seemed like hours, his exit finally came up. I pulled over eager to ditch the freak and get back on the road. But as Frank turned real slow, I saw his eyes had glazed over milky white. His grin stretched too wide, dripping black drool. Thanks for the ride, boys. Hope you don't mind if I keep you company a while longer. Reached into his ripped coat just as I stomped the gas. Left Frank and those ghoulish shapes receding in the night. Raced out of that cursed town as fast as I could, but I swear I saw Frank's pale face flashing in my rear view the whole drive. The next morning we found strange symbols etched into the back window, along with bloody scratch marks around the edges. I don't pick up hitchhikers anymore, that's for damn sure. Who knows what the hell was really going on in that ghost town, or what Frank and his friends really wanted from us. All I know is some nights I still see his rotting smile when I close my eyes. Hear his voice on the empty highway whispering, come play with us. Never stopping for strangers in the middle of nowhere again. You can count on that boys. Keep your doors locked out there. Boy, let me tell you about the freakiest night I ever had driving through nowhere Texas last summer. Me and a couple buddies were road tripping across the desert, blasting music with the windows down as the sun went down. Must have been rounding midnight when the gaslight flickered on. Nearest station was still hours away, according to the GPs, so we started looking for an exit. That's when Tim spotted a shady looking figure up ahead, just standing by the side of the dark highway. Pulled over and saw it was a scraggly looking guy, said his truck broke down back a ways. Figured what could it hurt giving the poor fella a lift. You know, bad call, let me tell you. Guy reeked to high heaven and barely said two words the whole ride. Just sat there fidgeting and glancing over his shoulder, really putting me on edge. My friends laughed it off, but I had a bad feeling in my gut. Round about then is when we started passing all these weird ass shapes dotting the road shoulders. Looked almost human, but moved wrong, scurrying between the scrub on two, long spindly limbs. Gave me the serious heebie-jeebies seeing them in the sweep of the headlights. Felt like forever till the hitchhiker's exit finally came up. I started breathing easier, pulling over, ready to offload the creep. But then he turned real slow with this bone, chilling grin, all black and rotted. Leaned in the window, dripping something rancid as he whispered thanks for the ride. Boys, hope you don't mind if I keep you company a while longer. Reached inside his filthy coat, and I swear I saw matted fur and needles poking out. Hit the gas so damn fast I almost ran him over. We tore down the highway as fast as she could fly, not stopping to look back. But in the mirror, I caught glimpses of misshapen silhouettes loping after us, keeping pace with hungry eyes and gnashing teeth. We hauled ass through the night in terrified silence till sunrise, never stopping for anything or anyone on the side of the road ever again. Friends say I imagined it all, but I know what I saw out there in the desert dark. There's more than meet the eye haunting those back roads. Keep your doors locked out there for less. You never know what kind of company might come knocking in the dead of night. <laughs>